Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to filter data in Power Query. So here I have a data set and I'll open this in Power Query. So I'll go to the data tab and I would click on from table range. This will open this data in the query editor. So here I have the data. Now in the header row you would notice the, this downward pointing arrow and when you click on it then you would see these filtering options. So you can see there is this date time filter and there this option where you can select the rows uh, that you want. Let me click on cancel here. Now uh, there are a couple of ways you can filter the data and uh, the options that you get would depend on the kind of data that you have in the column. So for example in this case I have the date type uh, data in this column. Here I have text type. In this case I have whole numbers and I have the uh, percentage or decimal here in commission. Now if I come here then I have this option to manually select these uh, these rows and I can do that and click OK but it doesn't make sense in this case because there are so many but if I come here in case of item there are limited number of items so I can select let's say if I only want to see uh, the records for printer I can select printer and click OK and it will only show me the records for printer let me delete this and get the original data back uh, the other option is that you can come here and use the these uh, data type specific filters. So in this case, because my data type is date and time, it is showing me all these date and time related filters. So it could be equal to a specific date and time, before, after and between a specific range of date and time, in the next, in, in the previous, so if I click on this, it specifies in the next number of days here. So I can specify in the next number of, in the next 10 days, all the records uh, based on the current date. So it'll give you all those records from here. Then you have these options is earliest is latest and you can figure out and, and play around with these options. It also gives you these options to uh, get the data for next year, next quarter, next month, next week and all, uh, all this. Uh, now let me open any one of these, let's say, let me open the before option and here you can see there are two options basic and advanced. Now in basic uh, it, it's giving you this option for the date type only. So if you have a look at this it says show rows where date. So it's only for this column and you can say is before and you can select from all these options specify the option here and it will give you the records. But if I go to advanced now this is not related to the date column only. If I want I can select different columns. So in this case I can say if the date column here is before a specific date, so let's say for example, if I say if it is before let's say 12th and I can then specify if the item is let's say printer, so I can select printer here. So you can see in this case I am using multiple filters for multiple columns. So I can say if the date is this much and the printer is and if the item is printer or I can use and an or operator here I can add more clauses if you add more than two then you would not have the basic option available because it is only available for two options and two filters but if I remove this delete this then the basic one would become available so let me remove this one as well and you can see the basic one becomes available in this case. So you can use the advanced filter if you want to filter based on multiple criteria or you can use the basic filter for individual columns. Now let me show you the text filters here. So if I come here I have text filters because this column has the text data type and then it has equals, doesn't equal, begin with and all these options. So for example if I want to filter only the printer data then I can say contains and I can type here printer and when I click OK it will only give me the records for printer. So let me delete this. Similarly here because I have uh, the, the whole number data type it will give me the number filter and in this case again it will give me the number filter. So you can either use the advanced filter option here so for example I go here you can use the advanced filter option to apply multiple filters or you can apply multiple filters on individual columns to uh, get the filtering get your filtered data. Now there are there are two more options uh, that you need to know which is keep rows and remove rows. So for example in this data set if you want to only keep top 10 rows so if you have let's say sorted the data and you only want the top 10 selling products or top 10 selling records then you can come here and you can say keep records keep top rows and here I can specify I only want 10 records and now when I click OK it will remove everything else but it will only keep the top 10 records here. Let me delete this. 
Now, similarly, you can keep the bottom uh, rows and you can keep the range of rows. So for example, if I say I want uh, 10 records starting from the 10th record or starting from let's say the 20th record and I want 10 records here. So this will give me 10 records, but the starting row number, the starting record number would be the 20th. So you can keep the rows within a range. Then you can keep the duplicates and you can keep the errors. So if you want to keep the duplicates, it will only show you the duplicate records. And if you keep the errors, it will only show you the error, the records that have errors here. So in this case, if I select keep error, it doesn't show me anything because my data set does not have errors. Similarly, there is a remove rows option where you can remove top rows, bottom rows, and you can remove alternate rows. You can remove duplicates, you can remove blank rows, and you can remove errors. You can also get these options if you click on this icon here. This is the table icon here at the top left here. And if I click here, you can see I also have these options here. Keep top rows, bottom rows, range of rows. You also have all these keep and remove options here. So this is how you can filter the data in Power Query. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.